they expect people to come ply. As the list of traveling UCP MLAs grows, so too does the public outcry. This scandal shows you that the public will not countenance any effort by people to look out for loopholes. Hawaii, Mexico, Palm Springs. These are just some of the places where politicians could be found this holiday season despite federal and provincial health guidelines. The backlash has been swift. On Twitter, hashtag resign Kenny at one point trending nationally. Hashtag resign Kenny or call an election. The world is nothing like it was in April 2019. Nobody signed up for this. Premier Jason Kenney said on Friday that since he didn't issue a specific directive about not traveling, no one will face punishment. The Twitter masses, however, want to see repercussions. One user suggested resurfacing a UCP campaign promise to allow Albertans to fire their MLAs for broken promises. And it's gone beyond social media as well. If you were to take a stroll along 17th Ave, you might come across a few of these signs that have been posted along the popular avenue. At the office of the Minister of Municipal Affairs, a welcome home sign has been erected for MLA Tracy Allard. The lays are covered in the holiday traditions that Albertans had to sacrifice this year in order to follow public health advice. We reached out to the opposition NDP to inquire about where their MLAs and staffers were over the holidays. This is what they told us in a statement. Every single MLA and caucus staff member has been in the province for the duration of the holidays and continues to be. It never occurred to anyone to leave the province, especially once the more strict measures came into place. We take the public health orders seriously. And experts say the government shouldn't expect this to go away. These politicians have put themselves in a very difficult situation and people are not going to be lenient in how they react. Kara Campbell, City News, Calgary.